The way most people approach Facebook advertising is like this little pathetic orange. They're trying to squeeze the orange. They're trying to develop new juicing techniques, different angles, all sorts of gimmicks to try to get more and more juice out of this orange. But at the end of the day, it's just one pathetic little orange. So if you really want to grow, if you're really ambitious, if you really want to be a good Facebook advertiser, what you have to do is grow more oranges. So instead of trying to get as much juice as possible out of a single orange, you think about getting 100 oranges. And then maybe your technique isn't that great. Maybe your juicing only gets 30% of the potential juice out of a given orange, but it doesn't really matter because you have 100 oranges and everybody else is just focused on one. So what are we really talking about here? Well, in business to consumer marketing, the juicing technique that everybody is obsessing over and is pretty much the only thing that Facebook marketing gurus talk about, it's called performance marketing. And there are different terms you might use for it. In business to business, we generally call it demand generation. In this course, we are gonna talk about the mechanics of juicing. We're gonna talk about performance marketing we're gonna talk about demand generation, we're gonna talk about lead generation, we're gonna talk about direct response advertising. But we're also gonna talk about planting the seeds. That's called brand marketing. It's called awareness marketing. It's called demand creation. That is gonna be one of the key things that separate the top 1% of Facebook advertisers from the bottom 99%. Another key difference is gonna be understanding the difference between sophisticated business-to-business -business advertising on Facebook and sophisticated business-to-consumer marketing.